In 2011, 18% of students in Singapore's universities were foreigners. In fact, in science and engineering, this figure even went up to 27%. It isn't a surprise then that Singaporeans are becoming more and more xenophobic. With lesser university sports and fewer open jobs, locals may tend to feel threatened by this growing community. Okay, as a citizen, the government should give priority to the citizens first. Then, other than that, they will think about consideration. <laughs> it can be a good sign, <laughs> it can be a bad sign also. It depends, I feel. Uh, because there's a lot of competition when foreign talents come over, so job vacancies and everything, it's easily filled up because of them. But some foreign students like Felicia, an Indonesian student, do not have it easy either. There are actually many difficulties uh, when I adjust my life in Singapore. Firstly is the language because we speak differently uh, in Indonesia and Singapore. So um, actually the first half year before I started my secondary school in Singapore, I actually studied in private school to learn English only. Yeah. However, it's not all bad for people like Felicia. Local students and lecturers have taken measures to welcome foreign students. Many of the students approached are more sympathetic towards them. Okay, the 4 I care program is basically targeted to uh, at international students mm -hmm. uh, studying in um, Singapore Poly to help them assimilate into our uh, so-called our culture and uh, SP uh, life. Perhaps some students are not that uh, understanding mm -hmm. because sometimes you hear certain, you know, uh, comments say, you know, you Chinese, you do this and that. I say, you know, sometimes they do hear these remarks. Uh. So you would, you know, I, I, as a teacher, would put things in place by saying, you know, you don't generalize or you don't pinpoint or label people that way. Uh, it's a bit challenging, uh, especially on the foreign soil. If you don't know anyone. Even though we might have some difference in the culture and everything, but they generally blend in quite well and we can make really good friends with them. Uh. I mean like they also have their own talents and stuff and they work really hard to come in here so I don't think that uh, all the priority should be given to Singaporeans. I mean we have a chance to, everybody have an equal chance to get into uni so I think that if we are really capable of it then that's fine. Lah. Singapore Place hosts thousands of foreign students every year and the number is sure to keep rising. The intake of foreign students have been an ongoing issue in Singapore and is likely to continue in the next few years. However, with a new generation growing up alongside these foreigners, Singaporeans might just learn to be more receptive towards them someday. This is Alicia signing off, GTVN.